have the roll call for all our cultural troops. Cultural troops, Abnikan laga roll call thagiwo. Morombra nijor laga jagade karaguna halakrule janai dia se. Ajido kuki bras shuru kuruna angami jawo. Kuki bras shuru kuruna angami jawo. Kuki cultural troop from New Chalcot, Perrin, representing the cookies of Nagaland. <laughs> Gyan Surang Furai Shali Cultural Troop from Kushia Bill Dimapur. <laughs> Representing the Kacharis of Naglan. Next, we have the Garo Cultural Troop, Dubagaon Village, Dimapur. Representing the Garos of Naglan. Intimate Youth Cultural Club, Heningkungwa Peren, representing the Ziliang tribe of Nagaland. <laughs> Mimi Village Cultural Troop from Kifri, Representing the Yemkyung tribe of Nagaland. <laughs> Mining Hill Cultural Troop, Bokpur Village, Kifri, representing the Tikir tribe of Nagaland. Ko Kimi Cultural Society from Pukupoto, representing the Sumi tribe of Nagaland. Sangtam Sangli Cultural Troop from Twinsang, representing the Sangtam tribe of Nagaland. <laughs> Kitaka Cultural Club, Chunlika, representing the Rengma tribe of Nagaland. Pukungri village dance troupe representing the Pochuri tribe of Nagaland. <laughs> Yongya cultural troupe society from Longlanging representing the Palm tribe of Nagaland. Bandari Village Zechopen Cultural Club from Woka representing the Lota tribe of Naglan. <laughs> Yanu Ponven Cultural Troop from Mon representing the Konyak tribe of Naglan. Sanglao Cultural Club
from Nokluk, representing the Kemnuan tribe of Nagaland. Bilashi Cultural Troop, Duinsang Village, representing the Chang tribe of Nagaland. <laughs> Javami Village Cultural Troop, representing the Chakisang tribe of Nagaland. Cultural Club Molong Kimong from Mokokchung District, representing the Ao tribe of Nagaland. And lastly, we have Konoma Youth Organization from Kohima District, representing the Angami tribe of Naglan. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, these are our 18 cultural troops this year and they will be performing for you in the morning session and also in the afternoon session of the cultural program. Ladies and gentlemen, before we proceed, we would like to invite Mr. Awang Joang from the Konyok tribe to invoke the traditional blessing. Mr. Awang Joang is the chief unk of Yano village. He represents the Konyak tribe of Nagaland. Oh, 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 oh,
Kaza Jadu, and if you hold in Kale, Halang Nanga, Naga, and Doctor, we Malahai, Hujui. The traditional blessing translates like this. Yanu Pongven village is here to represent the mighty Konyak tribe. May God bless Nagaland with peace and prosperity. May bright minds fill the state of Nagaland. May the pathway be white and prosperous for us. We are indeed pleased to have in our midst this morning our chief guest, Lieutenant General Sanjay Malik, General Officer Commanding 101 Area. At this point of time, on behalf of the government of Nagaland and the people of Nagaland, the Nagas, we would like to felicitate our chief guest, I kindly request our host for this morning, our Honourable Minister for Health and Family Welfare, Government of Nagaland, Sri P. Paiwang Konyak, to do the honours. Thank you, sir. Our chief guest is being presented with a traditional Naga shawl, accompanied by the Naga Dao. We are also pleased to learn that our chief guest is accompanied by his lady wife. So I kindly request our co-host, Sri Kuzoluzo Nino, our Honorable MLA of Nagaland, to do the honors. A sash and a frame. Thank you, sirs. And ma'am. Ladies and gentlemen, we have nine wonderful cultural troops to perform for us this morning. To begin with the cultural extravaganza. First up, we have the Yim Kyung Cultural Troupe from Mimi Village, Kifri District, representing the Yim Kyung Tribe of Nagaland. They will perform a folk dance called 
Saramati.
This folk dance is an old to big Saramati. Saramati is the highest peak of Nagaland. It is also known as the crown of Nagaland, one of the pristine forests of Nagaland and house to the variety of flora and fauna. It is located near Tanabir village in Kifre district of Nagaland. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mimi Village Cultural Troupe representing the Yinkyum tribe of Nagaland. Lamko Lam is a popular dance of the Kuki community. Lamko Lam literally translates to social gathering dance. This dance is performed by a set of two to four couples. The men would usually spread their hands, wave sideways while bending and straightening their knees. Their partner, the women folk, would rest their hands on their hips, bend their knees and move together with their male counterparts. Ladies and gentlemen, performing for you next, we have the Kuki Cultural Troupe from New Chalcot, Perrin, representing the Cookies of Naglin. The Lam Kol Lam dance of the Kuki community is accompanied by the drum, a gong, and even a guitar. In the ancient times, during the Lamkol Lam dance, besides the dancers, even the elders and youth would usually join and sing a cheerful song to accompany this dance. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Lamkol Lam dance.
Troop with the performance of the Lam Kol Lam dance. Next, Next up, up, we have the Mining Hill Cultural Troop, Pokpur Village, from the Tikir tribe. They will perform a pop song, which is sung by the women, women folk of the village. This folk song is called Ayolli Mutsi.
Ayoli Muti is a song sung by the women folk for a woman after her marriage when she is about to leave her parental home to go and live with her husband. This song signifies that she is getting ready with all her goods and property that she has to take with her to her husband's house. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the Mining Hill Cultural Troupe of Pogpur Village from the Pikir tribe of Nagaland. Performing for you next, we have the Gyansurang Furai Shali Cultural Troupe, Kushabil Dimapu, representing the Kacharis of Nagaland. They will be performing for you a folk dance called Dausri Dilai. This dance draws its inspiration from the Maina, a common bird that is usually spotted in the Indian region. With their vibrant and colorful traditional attires, the damsels try to re Reassemble the graceful movement of this bird. This dance, or the Dausri Delai, is accompanied by the kam, or the drum, the sifung, or the flute, the jota, or the cymbals, and jabring, a traditional musical instrument of the Kacharis.
The Qatari cultural troupe with the performance of a folk dance called Dosri Delay. 
Yate ekta khobor janai dibo Moromra hunibi yate ekta important khobor janai dibo Gauri laga exhibition yate ekta ase aro in charge mano yate poi thagi she koile Moromra itia announcing bu de ai bole janai diye ase Gauri laga exhibition yate kisama de ase apni in charge ase koile Moromra itia yate announcing bute ai jabole janai diye ase in charge na thagi lebi apni stall te poa mano noi lebi help kuri ase koile Moromra itia emergency ekta olai gana ase itia yate ai bole janai diye ase thank you Ladies and gentlemen, next up, we have the Pongkori Village Dance Troupe from the Pochori Tribe. They will, will be presenting a, a demonstration that is the sanctification of fields ritual, which is called Tulo Yak. This is a ritual that is performed to invoke the blessings of Mother Nature during the time when the crops in the field are on the verge of bearing fruit. In this ritual, domesticated animals like pigs, chickens are sacrificed as per the wish of Mother Nature. Sabo! Ay! Sabo! Akuto! Ho! Hingira! What is the bar? Hey! Barina! He's a bad head. Robert, you look at his brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
The sacrificial animals are taken to the fields and slaughtered there. The Nagas were dependent on agriculture. It was very important that the people have a very bountiful harvest. Much importance was given on agriculture as the people depended everything on it, their livelihood, their food source. So it was very important that a ritual like this is performed so they can get a very bountiful harvest for the year.
the meat that is cooked is kept in the vicinity of the field. This served as, as an offering to the gods. While the parents are busy, the kids the kids would usually play This ritual was very important. Offerings are placed for the goddess.
After their offerings, they would eat in the field. It is important to, un to understand that it was taboo to bring back the leftover from the field. If a person brings back the leftover meat from the field, it was considered a curse. The offerings are left in the field. This was to appease the goddess and bless them with a very bountiful harvest for the year. Once the rituals are complete, the villagers head home. Ladies and gentlemen, that was a demonstration of how they sanctify their fields. The sanctification of fields is called Tulo Yak. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pongkori village dance troupe representing the Pochuri tribe of Nagaland. Following the cultural troupe from the Pochuri tribe, we have the Bandari village Zechopen Cultural Club, Woka, representing the Lothar tribe of Naglan. They will be performing for you a folk song called Pabwato Petala Chachungto La Petala. Folk song 
Kohomi by a dance is usually performed by the women folk of the village. As you can see, they stand in line holding the rear end of the cloth that is tied around the waist of the person in front. That was the Lota cultural troupe with the performance of the Puvuto Petala, Jachunto La Petala, a folk song and dance that is performed by the women folk of the village. Next up, performing for you, we have the Yanu Pongvan cultural troupe representing the Konyak tribe. They will demonstrate a game of bamboo shoving called Dang Atu Azab. This is a traditional game played by the man folk of the village. This game is a test of strength and agility.
ball of about three feet is used to push each other, each other away in down a tree and to twist the arms in down a zap. Each person from both the teams take turns to play this game. The dung as up, where they twist the hands and push away each other.
eating dung azab. A shorter bamboo is used. And players try to twist each other's arms in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, he's looking for a challenger, and I think he found one. This game is a test of strength, agility, and also technique. It was a very close fight, but I think we have a winner. This game is played during Lao Ong Mo, which is a post-harvest festival. Winners of these games are treated with high regard in the villages. That was the Yadu Pongwen cultural troupe Mon, representing the Konyak tribe of Nagaland. Cultural troops, Tanda Lagi Ese Hoi Hoi Nen Hoi Tika Se Garo Garo Cultural Troop Leader Moiwa Ekta Kobo Abnike Aro Sop Cultural Troops Abnikan Huniwi Cultural Troop Leader Taibrao War Cry Kuruo Aro Cultural Troops Kansop 
respond kuri bi de first of cultural troop garo khan ra tikai dibo kina kruwo itu bi chite mohan la leader bawa ko adam ne sob mano utu tai takan kura nisna kuru bole chenai di ase middle dik mor omra troop leader hi sob mano logode warm up thanda lage ase koise utura Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you all, ladies and gentlemen. Performing for you next, we have the Garo Cultural Troupe, the Bagan Village, Dimapu, representing the Garos of Nagaland. This morning, they shall be performing for you their harvest dance called Rukala Troka. Firstly, rituals are performed. This is the chief day or the priest. He is known as the Nokma. Foisa, foigi, foigi tam awe. Wait. Then I take it. So I take it. I have a good job. The boys 
and the girls began dancing to the jubilant beat of the drums. The dance is motivated. <laughs>
Gentlemen, that was the Garo Cultural Troupe with their enthusiastic performance of the Rugala Choroka, a post harvest dance. This dance portrays the joyous abundance and the bountiful harvest that each one enjoys during the festive season. Ladies and gentlemen, before we go on with the last item for this morning's cultural program, here is an announcement. This announcement is for all our esteemed guests, tourists, and also for our cultural troops. After the end of our cultural program this morning, we shall witness here in the main arena the talk of war. This will be brought to you by the Youth Resources and Sports Government of Nagaland. The talk of war will be played between the various cultural troops. I repeat, the talk of war will be played between the various cultural troops and we request you to sit back and witness the talk of war between all our cultural troops. Cultural troops, Abnikan Nimidevi, Ekpa Ekta Kobor Janai Divo. Cultural troops, Khan, Tak of War Tagiwo. Abnikan Kunba Tribes Kando, 
Nam Samit Kuruna Ase Abnigan Nam Samit Kuruguna Natagile Morombra Abnigan La Nam Khan Likiguna Samit Kurule Janai Diase. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, performing for you now, we have the Konoma Youth Organization representing the Angami tribe of Nagaland. They will demonstrate an indigenous game played by the villagers. This game is called Terra Doja. Angami tribe is a warrior tribe. A good warrior is usually the most respected person in the village. Every parent and every village elder wants his son or the youth to be a good warrior. The objective of these indigenous games is to train the youth to become a successful warrior. When a person stamps on the piece of bamboo, he is out. There are various steps, steps to become a warrior. This game is a part of their training. This game This game is testing the agility and alertness of the youth. We have three more remaining to be warriors. 
Just the two, two of them now. <laughs> and we have the last. Like we were saying, there are many steps to become a warrior. You need to be trained. You need to be alert. You need to be physically fit. You have to be agile. The stage is being set for the next game. There are two teams, one on the left and the other on the right. This is This is an ancient form of the modern game called dodgeball. The winners have been declared. It's the team on the right. Respect and status are not brought or borrowed, but it has to be earned. So for a young boy to become a good warrior, he should be trained step by step, as you have just witnessed. There are many qualities a man should possess to become a good warrior. This, particu this particular item is one among the first stages for training of a young boy to become a good and respected warrior. Ladies and gentlemen, the Konoma Youth Organization from the Yangami tribe of Nagaland. With that performance, we have come to the end of the morning session of the cultural performance. Ladies and gentlemen, this cultural program has been brought to you by the Department of Art and Culture, Government of Naglin. The afternoon session of the cultural program will begin at 1 p.m. here at the main arena. In the meantime, we shall be having the traditional tug of war between the cultural troops here, so we request all our esteemed guests, tourists, photographers to, to kindly keep away from the main performing arena.